We have an early warning weather alert through tomorrow morning for the potential of more flash flooding, but I can tell you that we are through the worst of it. Yes, we could see some more downpours, maybe some thunder and lightning, but that is it. Some localized areas could experience some more flooding than is already going on, but otherwise we're not looking at a severe weather threat overnight, so that's some good news. We could definitely use a shred of good news here, so uh, we are watching for a couple of those downpours right now in Litchfield County. Otherwise, a lot of those paler shades of green across Connecticut. So just some sprinkles really on I-91. Uh, one more spot that could get a new thunderstorm, again, not severe, is going to be across Fairfield County. So southwest of Danbury looking at a cell, but not a thunderstorm. Uh, you can see on the counter there only Last I checked, okay, three strikes of lightning right now. Uh, really just saw a couple up there in Massachusetts, which has had um, a pretty um, hefty day up there as well in terms of those rainfall totals. Um, one urban area I saw where the flooding was Worcester, but uh, not too much urban flooding in Connecticut. A lot of uh, northeast hills, northwest hills with that heavy rain, and that's where we're seeing a flash flood warning going on for the Litchfield Hills until about 2 o'clock in the morning, so a pretty broad area across northwest Connecticut with some ongoing or soon to be ongoing flash flooding. So, um, you know, hopefully this isn't impacting your backyard or your basement right now, but uh, definitely a reason to stay off the roads in that area for the next few hours until we can get to tomorrow morning and some of this flooding will start to dissipate. Another area with some ongoing flooding is Mount Hope River and Route 44 right along that shade, uh, shaded area of green until one o'clock in the morning. Flash flood watch is still in effect for those northern and western counties across Connecticut through tonight for the possibility of some more flash flooding wherever downpours may occur. So uh, yes, we're not going to see um, any more of these severe thunderstorms, but potentially some more thunderstorms do occur while we're asleep tonight. Fast forward to eight o'clock in the morning. We've got our last downpour that happened around sunrise, so uh, you may hear that overnight. But once we get to tomorrow morning, looking at some isolated showers and with that low right on top of us, it makes sense that we would get some more rain for tomorrow. So we're looking at some more of those pockets of moderate and light rain showers. Uh, maybe a couple strikes of lightning, but uh, I just reviewed things again. It does not look like we're going to see any severe weather for tomorrow. Just the potential for some isolated thunderstorms into 730, continuing with some more rain chances. Western northern Connecticut favored for additional rain. It should be less than a quarter inch. Well, today some folks were um, at the highest I saw was just over two inches of rain for today. Eight o'clock in the morning on Monday looks like some more isolated showers. Here's a look at the broader picture of these storms moving about 30 miles per hour to the northeast. Some of the heaviest rainfall in central New England across western Massachusetts, and you can see that we've got another round of that rain as that front finally makes its way over to Connecticut. So some more rain showers in New York right now, um, but not too many thunderstorms in New York right now. There's a look at our severe weather threat for tomorrow. There is none, so no marginal, just the possibility of some thunderstorms. 74 degrees right now in Windsor Lock, 79 amazingly in New Haven, 75 degrees in Hartford, so relatively warm overnight. Wind speeds about 5 to 10 miles per hour, but uh, we did see some hefty, uh, strong wind gusts earlier. Old Saybrook. Here's a look at uh, some things out there. Stores looking at conditions uh, improving as well in Hartford, 75 degrees with just a north breeze of five miles per hour. Here's some of those astonishing rain totals from earlier today. Kent, nearly two inches of rain. Lakeville, 1.57. And Canaan, 1.2 inches of rain. Low temperatures for tonight. We're dipping into the 60s, and we'll see those temperatures much cooler than they were today. So at least the temperatures are more tolerable for tomorrow. Uh, you can do something outside tomorrow, but it's Probably going to be raining at some point. Here's a look at the early morning seven day forecast. So, you know, the, the weather is much less dangerous tomorrow. So that is definitely something to look forward to. But nonetheless, we have rain chances in the morning and in the afternoon. 83 degrees on Monday. Let's go with some more rain chances. Tuesday, Wednesday, same thing. Thursday looks like a nice day. Dry air, 84 degrees, sunny skies. So let's fast forward to Thursday.